Epic has gotten big. Apple, Apple just too big. And so, of course, for those who have been following, Epic, of course, uh, released a, a different way for people who want to um, basically use their in-cash shop so that they can trade real currency, or I should say, like, real currency for in-game currency to buy skins, etc. And so Apple, of course, it costs 10 bucks if you buy it through Apple. It'll cost you 10 bucks for whatever their currency is. Uh, and then Epic went and subverted the Apple Store by basically putting in the ability for people who play Fortnite to be able to buy it just straight through Epic. And I think that, of course, they should be able to do that. That, that is their decision. If, they, if that's the route that they want to go, then they should be able to do that. And they can, legally speaking. What they can't legally do, what they can't legally do is then force Apple to keep them on the Apple store, right? It, it makes absolutely no sense if you're trying to, let's say for like, for example, let's say like I come up with a shirt, right? I come up with a real nice shirt in my local, I don't know, Walmart or whatever. They just get traffic left and right. Like people just rolling through Walmart left and right. And I'm like, you know what? There's a good opportunity there for me to take the shirt that I designed because they get a lot of foot traffic. So that means a lot of eyes are going to be on my product. And a good chance that uh, my product is going to be seen by more people and it's going to be purchased by more people, which means more revenue for me. And so Walmart or whatever business for that matter says, OK, they look at the traffic numbers. They look at how their previous uh, people who've wanted to sell product lines in their store have done and they say okay we're going to charge you x amount right so me as a business as as a businessman i could say okay uh, i was going to sell this shirt for 10 but it cost me five to make i sell it for 10 i make five bucks right but then walmart says that they want 25 percent, so that means i could keep it at 10 or I could raise my prices. It's my choice. So if my goal was to still make $5, well, I would have to raise my price in accordance with that to reflect that I still want to make that $5 per shirt. Or I could say, you know what? I'm going to get so much traffic that I'll generate the, enough revenue just on volume. I'll, I'll sell so many shirts that I'll make up the amount of money via volume that is entirely my choice that is a business decision that i make between myself and for example uh walmart and epic does similar things with the apple store I, a lot of people uh, use iphones and of course that's not the only thing that of course apple does for them they of course they ensure all of their uh, transactions that they make basically that you the customer are not getting scammed uh and they basically utilize their infrastructure right they utilize their infrastructure whether it's a building or it's online infrastructure and of course that comes at a price that basically comes at a price what's it called um spotify tried doing the same thing spotify was like well you chart you you're basically charging us or uh, utilization of your product, right? It's basically your product, whether that product is an actual physical product, right? Like a phone or whether it's something like software or a service. And so both Epic and Spotify have been complaining because Apple, Apple is just big. It's just a big company. That's what happens when you have leverage. It would just be like a YouTuber, right? If you were a YouTuber and you had a million views and someone said, bro, how much for a shout out? Like for real, I, I want to get a shout out. I got, I got a product that I want to promote, right? I got a product that I want to promote on your YouTube. You, your YouTube is blowing up, right? And so he says, okay, he looks at his traffic. He says, I got X amount of uh, subscribers on any one of my videos most of my videos fairly go viral because i kind of know what i'm doing so he charged he decides to charge you x amount for for every for every sale and that is within his rights that is the deal that you negotiate with at the beginning and so if i were to subsequently break that deal then i no longer would have access to that individual's youtube whether that was person was a youtuber or whether they were uh, or whether they were a twitch streamer if you wanted to get a shout out or if i wanted to get a host or if someone were to say hey you know why don't you toss those 
uh, viewers over to me at the end of your stream, well, he might say, well, what's it worth to you? That's within the individuals, within the individual, individuals, right? And so for people who are saying, you know, that, oh, you know, Apple's practices are a little, a little oppressive within the space, of course, that Apple occupies. And of course, it is within Apple's right, because Apple is basically the big boy on campus. And this is basically what uh, this is basically what Epic has a problem with, is that Epic also has the exact same practice. If you are a software developer, if you're a video game developer, and you want to put your video game on the Epic Store, well, guess what? Epic also charges a fee, right? It's just, for example, like the whole Epic versus Steam, right? For uh, And that's just basically, that, that's just basically how business works. What Epic doesn't like is that they're seeing so much of their profit go off to Apple. And no one forced Epic to into that deal, right? I mean, when they originally made that deal with Apple, they were like, hmm, this is a good idea. But now that Epic has gotten bigger, Epic is thinking that, well, maybe we can subvert Apple via this practice and throw shade on them to kind of get them to, to back off in terms of fee. And Apple's like, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So Apple said, Apple straightforwardly said, well, if, if, if this is the route that you're going to go, well, then there are going to be consequences to your actions. And rightfully so, because uh, Epic signed a contract with Apple uh, for this service. And you can't just go ahead and choose uh, to subvert that service to break that contract uh, just because now, years later, you, you want more money. They could have gone to the table and tried to and tried to negotiate, but they know that they don't have enough leverage, and that's just the reality of what they don't like. It's both between Epic as well as between Spotify. Neither one of them likes the fact that just Apple is the big boy on campus, and that if people want to, if people want to not utilize Apple or their software or, their, or have access to their customers, that is completely within their right. But what is not within their right is to be able to utilize uh, social media to try to subvert contracts, which is exactly what both Apple, I mean, with both Epic and Spotify are trying to do. They are, they are all within their right. They all signed contracts to the effect. Every single one of these individuals, these companies, knew what they were getting involved with when they signed contracts with Apple. And they've all benefited as a result. What they want is they want to be able uh, to, to get more of those profits. It, literally, like I said before, uh, if if it was whether if it was a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer who was basically blowing up and had access to a lot of views, and I said, "Hey, bro, how much for a shout out, or how much to throw some of those viewers over my way?" And then after the fact, after I've blown up, and I'm like, "You know what? I think you're charging me a little too much." And he would say, the "Person would say, well, this is the contract that you agreed to. It's just now that you are reaping the benefits, you don't want to live up to your end of the contract." And that's the problem. And this is why uh, whether you're a corporation or if you're a business or if you're an individual, you should always live up to what you, you should always live up to what you say that you're going to do. Let your yes mean yes. And of course, this is what Epic is trying to avoid. They're trying to they're trying to avoid the business relation with Apple while still trying to maintain the benefits of the Apple store.